All right, so today is our last day of biographies. So I just wanted us to review what we have learned. Um, and that way we have a full understanding of what a biography is. So what is a biography? It is an informational text, which means it gives us facts and information. It is about a real person's life. It is always written in third person. So what pronouns would we hear if we're reading or what pronouns would we read if we're reading a third person narrative story? Good. He, she, them, they, and the names of the other people. Uh, the author is someone other than the person featured in the text. Uh, let's see here in our little autobiography box here. Um, autobiography is a biography. It's not a story and it's about the author. So in an autobiography, it is about the person who wrote it. So they're writing about themselves. Because the prefix auto means self. Alrighty, going back down here to biography. Who is a biography written about? Um, it is usually going to be a famous person or notable person who accomplished something important or interesting. Uh, how, how is a biography organized in chronological order? Which is just another way to say a sequence, but chronological order follows a specific time like a timeline because that person is going to go from birth to their childhood to teenage years and so on it couldn't go in any other order because that's the order that everybody's life goes in um in that biography is going to give us their birth their family school things like that the date and cause of death if they have already passed away what what makes this person special what the world learned or gained from this person and a timeline of important events and why do we read biographies um one to see how people impact the world so maybe one day you can make a huge impact on the world and we'd be reading your biography um two to see character traits in real people um I would also say to, to be encouraged by, you know, what these people have done. And finally, this is not to memorize facts. It's cool to read about people that you really like, but it's not like you have to sit there and memorize the whole biography um, about their lives. So we are going to move on to our shared reading about the most famous woman in race car history um, named Danica Patrick.